Hey, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you exactly how you can make your Android phone look and feel very similar to what a Windows Phone 10 would have. Because I've noticed a lot of people down in my comments, um, they've been asking me, hey, how do I turn my Android phone into something that uh, feels like a Windows phone? And then there were some other commenters, they were recommending me this application called the uh, Square Home Launcher. Uh, so I thought I should try it out myself and see what it's like, use it for a couple of days, see if it's actually really good before I recommend it to you because I don't want to recommend crap. So I, I tested it out myself and I came to the conclusion that it's really good. So I thought I'll let everyone else know as well. But before that, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And it'll, if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also turn on your bell notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm also on Discord and Instagram and you can find me on those using the links down in the description below. All right, let's jump right in. So firstly, I'd like to thank all those who recommended this launcher down in the comments of my previous Windows Phone videos. So thanks a lot, guys. I've been using this for three days and I can safely recommend this to anyone as it's a very polished ad-free launcher. So there are no ads, barely any bugs. Well, absolutely no bugs. I've seen only a few reviews on it saying that there are a few bugs, but the majority of the reviews say there are no bugs and I didn't run into any either. So no bugs and no ads. Also, it's rated at 4.5 stars out of 5 on the Google Play Store, so really good rating there. So go into the Google Play Store and download it. It's free, it's 100% free, but it does have in-app purchases. But the best thing is you don't need those app purchases, you don't need those uh, in-app purchases. Those are completely optional, so the, the bulk of the application is still free. The in-app purchases are just some silly animations and so and so on, but the bulk of the application is free, so that's great. So that's what it looks like, so go ahead and download it. And once it's downloaded, depending on which what, what model of your phone is, sometimes you might be prompted to um, set it up from the home screen itself, or you may have to uh, go into settings and set it up manually. Okay, so after you're done selecting your Square Home Launcher from the select list of launchers, if you have any others installed, that is, um, you will be greeted with this. This will either pop up or you have to manually go and set it up. I'm not really sure, for, but for me, it did pop up. Um, it's a, you, could, you could go and manually set it up under Applications and then Home Options, and it's down at the bottom, Quick Setup Wizard. Um, then let's click Start. Now this comes to the first option you have for um, customization, that is you get disabled transparency, you get blurred transparency, transparent entirely. And I'm not really sure what refraction is, but I'm gonna go with transparent. I already have transparent um, selected, but you could select some of any of these four. I'm um, pretty sure is this is what will let you see with the background image, like we put a wallpaper, it'll have the tile wallpaper effect, so that's transparent, so I'm gonna go with that. Then you have tile size, you can select uh, the the four columns or you can select the three columns, so I'm gonna select three columns, but if you want more, you can select four columns. Um, next, and then you're met with notifications, you have to confirm it over here to get notifications, live tile notification, that's notifications within the tiles itself. So it's basically asking you for permission for um, to access your notifications within the tiles itself. So select that if you wish to do so. Uh, then click next. And then you have your app drawer where you can choose list by smart user defined or name. But I'm just gonna go with smart. I think select next and there's more customizations available but you could just look into those in your free time. I'm not gonna go into that detail on this video in the interest of time, so click done. So once you've done selecting the launcher, this is what you'll be greeted with, your home screen. And as you can see, it's very Windows Phone 10-ish. Um, so you're gonna see a lot of your apps are missing and you'll have to manually um, set them up. You'll have to manually add them back again. So you scroll down and you see this plus icon, you press it. Now you have a bunch of options here. You get applications, launchers, uh, launcher action, shortcut, 
widgets and etc etc so let's go to applications first and you have your selection of applications that you've installed let's select the weather channel for example now as you can see there is a selection of features that each app has on its own um, you can immediately jump to that uh, specific feature or you could just launch the app and i'm going to select launch the app i already have the weather channel installed but you could do that with any of the applications as you can see here let me find another one let's say it's um let's just say it's uh instagram um so i have installed instagram over there um as you can see it has my information as well like um it gives notifications on the tile if you saw there it uh it showed me there we go again so that's my instagram um so it gives you notifications from the tile itself you also can change uh, the tile layout and the t the tile size obviously uh, this being a Windows 10 launcher, it will be kind of pointless if it did not have that. So you can, um, this has a variety of functions, um, but in the uh, interest of time, I'm not going to cover all of these in detail. I'm just going to cover the basics. So you have the size changer, but unlike Windows Phone 10, it does not just uh, change sizes with an animation. You have to select from here. So I'll select small, so it goes to that standard square i'm going to select that again put large it's extra large i'm just going to keep it on wide as you can see there and you can just tap back or tap out to leave that screen um also you got widgets so let's select that and select widget now you have the, the app has its own widgets as you can see but this app also has a paid version of it you get a 14 day free trial um, but the bulk of the app is still free, so you don't have to pay for this. And its widgets aren't too great either. You can get these widgets separately. So you're going to select your Android widgets. And some of them might not be here. Um, just restart your phone. That might help. Um, but all of mine are visible here. These are all my Android widgets. As you can see here, I'm going to select Spotify and hit Create like that. And it's going to appear there. Um, and these are fully functional. You select it. Let me just go in um, so I can show you that it works. There you go. So there. Yep. I'm not going to play this song because of copyright reasons, but as you can see, it does play. So the widgets are fully functional on this launcher. Um, also settings, uh, like if you want to go into settings. Now this launch has its own settings. All you need to do is that. And you're brought into settings a settings menu you get menu you get more customization you can change your wallpaper from here or you can change it the usual way you do with your phone i'll show you that in a minute uh, you have new pages and you have edit and you have so more so many more things if you select the applications over here you're brought up into your app drawer you can select it to be an animation as well but i just put it over there but you could use an animation um we have home options square home options there are all the all the options i showed you earlier just congested into one um we have light tile live tile icon size app drawer so many select so many options uh, for you to select from colors and pictures and um but there are some of them that are paid but the basics are all free um you can also go back into the quick setup wizard from here um you can also access your phone settings from here as well so changing the wallpaper, you can use, you can change it like by, like that as well, but you can also just do it the old way you were always doing it. Just go into photos, select what you want. I'm going to select Caustic from Apex Legends. Um, use as wallpaper. Let's put that there. It's my favorite character in the game, by the way, if you play that. Let me know down in the description below. I love that game. Um, in the comments below, sorry. Um, so as you can see, it's um, it's selected as the wallpaper. It automatic automatically transfers over to the um, the Tiles app, the uh, Square Home Launcher, and yeah. So and your notifications are here too. I'm not going to open that fully because I have some notifications. But your notifications are not going to be the Windows Phone notifications. They're going to be your base, basically be your old uh, Android notification center. Um, so you're not getting Windows. I don't know if there's a way to enable a Windows-ish notification center, 
but um, you can still use your notification center from there and many more. There are so many options. I can't cover all of these in a single video at the interest of time. Um, but let me know down in the comments if uh, there's something that I missed and if there's something else you know about this that I don't so that everyone else can see. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped you with, um, with whatever you were searching for if you wanted to turn your uh, Android phone into something that looked like Windows. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.